Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with one of the most versatile decks of all time, which is Splemetry. So Splemetry is pretty much uh, good no matter the meta because it's, it's just very versatile and uh, no matter what cards are good, pretty much it will uh, fit to same place. My opponent will be uh, called something that I pretty much cannot say right now and he will be playing very aggressively which is a nuisance for me but I don't really, we, I think we can just get away with playing the symmetry which was definitely a fluke I shouldn't be playing symmetry into someone that <laughs> played a spell into our T-Rex definitely not the way I'm gonna play bomber here uh, in the back just anticipating his uh, hitman definitely is a catch my opponent will get some damage, which uh, obviously may be bad on the one side, but I've already accumulated some mana to go in uh, into my opponent. I'm gonna actually play T-Rex here, I'm gonna play Cemetery right now, and I'm pretty much ready with a Cyclone right about now, and there we go. So right now, <laughs> pretty much my T-Rex is tanking for the uh, Skeletons, or Skeleton I should say. And that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. You cannot play aggressively against Plemetry because eventually these things will come out. And uh, yeah, uh, this deck is pretty much bounced around the fact that uh, you can pretty much with uh, with like uh, enough skill you can pretty much defend any push. So uh, with Plemetry, obviously you shouldn't ever tower trade. But even bigger. Uh, Problem of uh, Slammetry is like activating the Viking Tower. Obviously, with my cards, it's very hard to activate the Viking Tower, uh, so I'm not too worried about that. But once uh, my opponent would somehow get a activation from me, the game pretty much ends because just uh, Slammetry doesn't work too well uh, when uh, both towers, I mean three towers even, can engage the cemetery. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number one. Let's jump to the game number two, maybe with some better example than my opponent right here. All right, so we're in like this game against Oki, so maybe I can show uh, why this deck is pretty dominant, uh, because it pretty much can hold anything. He's playing Skeleton Hack from what I know, and that's gonna be a pretty interesting matchup because he's also playing a very interesting Skeleton Hack Dark Knight deck with a Bomberman like uh, a lot of weird stuff. Usually, if you don't know what your opponent is going for, you can pretty much blindly go Slammetry into. You won't be like absolutely dead, but you may uh, not have the advantage that you wanted to have. I'm gonna play actually a Cemetery here since he's gonna play a Bomberman and it's gonna be a very good attack, I would say. Skeletons are uh, piling up on getting the damage I wanted. Uh, T Rex will clean up everything that's left, which is very good. Uh, very good thing. I'm gonna play a Footman Cake to clean up this uh, Dark Knight. Uh, I would love to get a Dark Divation of a Dark Knight, but I don't think that's gonna be the case in this matchup, at least for now. Uh, he's gonna be playing a Skeleton Cake uh, in the back, which I really appreciate. I'm gonna play Bomber here. Right now, I'm pretty confident he's holding Lightning against this Skeleton, hack, skeleton Cake and Skeleton Cut. Yeah, that, that's that's not the case here. I'm gonna just play uh, some solid responses. He's gonna even block a bridge, so I cannot go in, which is obviously one of the way that you deal against uh, Splametry, but uh, we're gonna be just being chilling in this matchup. I would love to get a kill on this Bomberman, and I do. That was very cool. I would love to go in because I definitely have a, a mana lead, but I cannot because I don't have a tank on hand. And usually, if your cemetery doesn't have a tank, you would be in a, a very bad spot. So I think, yeah, okay. He wasted the shield skeleton. I think is a good moment to just uh, go in. He goes for a phone hub. I'm gonna go poison regardless because it's gonna get value, value either way. If uh, not uh, get like too much damage, I'm gonna at least get a kill on this thief, which is very annoying to defend. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a very successful attack. Now all we have to do is just defend this uh, very scary dark knight push and don't die, which is obviously the 
think that uh, if you want to be a uh, explanatory player, you have to be very comfortable with defending very scary pushes. He's gonna still get a lot of value of that Bomberman, which is pretty annoying, but at the same time it's like not the end of the world. I'm gonna get this Cyclone to just... Uh, get a counter on everything that he throws at me uh, even the lightning wasn't targeted on the tower but uh, 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 instead of that he was uh, targeting my troops which is i think the correct move because right now my opponent is just very far behind uh, with uh, damage so he pretty much has to make play i'm gonna play just uh, spells very quickly on this Bomberman so it doesn't like get infinite value. I'm gonna clean this uh, attack at the bridge which is uh, like the best uh, place for a Splamatory deck to fight in. It's gonna go for a uh, Fawn Hut. I don't even have to attack right now like he drops a Dark Knight in hope that I'm gonna like fit his Dark Knight for some reason. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna actually block his Dark Knight and uh, save my uh, Skeleton Hut which will be a nuisance for him because it will mean that he cannot go for a uh, skeleton tech. I'm gonna get a cleanup on here. I think I'm gonna just go for another splamatory because uh, I mean a cemetery and a phone cack, a footman cack, and yeah, I'm gonna just uh, get the dub. Very cool stuff right here. Oki obviously didn't have like the best deck against uh, Splamatry, so he kind of succumbed to our pressure. But it was uh, very scary for uh, a couple of moments. Like, Lightning is very good against uh, Splamatry for the reason that you can pretty much get a lot of value against like T Rex and Swordsman if you stack them. If you separate them, usually you don't get like your best synergy, so no matter what. Uh, if your opponent has lightning, he will get a value, but you pretty much cannot avoid that and you're pretty comfortable uh, in taking this lightning uh, because your troops will like survive on 1 HP and it's usually fine. I wouldn't say that was too much of a trouble, but uh, it was still a very competitive match and uh, GG to Oki. We'll take the 7 and jump to the next one. And in the third game of today's video, we're gonna be facing TT. Alohaximi? Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Either way, he's gonna be having 40 medals and he's gonna be playing very likely a steel bait. There we go. We're gonna obviously get a nice counter against that. Activate my Viking Tower. The tornado uh, or cyclone, I should say, was uh, a bit early. I should have delayed it uh, for a, a little bit longer. And with that troops that are surviving, I think we can just go for the counterplay. And this swordsman uh, gets me some value because uh, T-Rex obviously is patched. Uh, good stuff. We're gonna be playing Bomber to just clean uh, everything up here. I'm gonna play a Footman Keg because, uh, well, I don't want to take more uh, damage uh, on the tower. And usually in this matchup, I. Uh, I usually say that it's a very easy for a uh, splamatory party to like control the game, uh, but a steel bait is pretty uh, good deck like at annoying you uh, in every way, shape or form. So we're gonna see how uh, it will turn out to be. I'm gonna play symmetry here uh, because my T-Rex will tank for it. And he's gonna go for a uh, Bomb Girl. I'm gonna even get some splash uh, damage with my T-Rex, so it was a very successful attack right here. Against uh, Steel Bait, I uh, usually like find going in uh, over and over again very successful. I'm gonna play Bomber here. I'm gonna counter this uh, Funkak. I'm gonna go for a Swordsman actually. I'm gonna be uber aggressive, let's just test his defense. And if he doesn't defend, obviously he dies, that's, that's, that goes without saying. He actually gets a very nice defense against us. And I think uh, all we have to do is like uh, go again uh, a couple of more times and eventually he'll collapse. I kinda was waiting for this one to happen. I'm gonna cycle everything into the tower. My T-Rex will splash, my skeletons will be protected by the T-Rex and... Uh, the game is already over, I uh, need only two poisons to close it and I don't have to attack ever again. I'm gonna play Skeleton Hut on the other side. Honestly, I don't even know for what, but like... 
maybe for banter because I just have so much mana and my opponent is not forcing any uh, play out of me. I'm gonna play a swordsman in a cemetery. Uh, these skeletons won't get uh, too far because he's actually getting a pretty decent uh, defense against that. But yeah, we're gonna just get poison, uh, secure the tower, and get one more. Uh, okay, one more uh, footman kek. That's gonna be too easy. Very comfortable a game against steel base. Usually it uh, goes very uh, hard in single mana where they pressure, pressure, and you can't defend. But I think that bomber is like pretty much a difference maker. It's very good against phones and uh, even if you had like bad first. And I obviously activated the Viking Tower right away, so I was like a perfect case scenario. But if if you don't, it's usually very cool to have a bomber against steel base. I would say like. I would even say I had a matchup, like, there is no reason to argue that, maybe he had missile, if he has missile and defense are uh, symmetries perfectly, uh, he should be having an advantage, but uh, if he didn't have a missile, it was definitely our game, so yeah, uh, with that being said, let's jump to the game number 4 of today's video. And our next match will be against Lost Control, currently the number 2 player on leaderboards, who, uh, I don't know what he's gonna be playing, he plays bullets first play, that's honestly not too shabby. I'm gonna play some footman keg, because honestly why not, he plays bomber, which is... Obviously also not too bad of a pick. Plays a helicopter. Okay, so, from cards I'm seeing so far, I kinda predict he's playing a flank robot, which will be pretty challenging matchup, since our only uh, way to deal with uh, air cards. It will be a T-Rex. I probably even should go in here, but I'm gonna just save this option for later. And there's a flying robot. I'm gonna actually use a, a T-Rex to go in on the opposite side and uh, take the tower. Obviously, it's gonna be a very uh, a base trading match because, uh, yeah, he's gonna get some bullets here, but right now I don't think I can <laughs> ever defend this uh, flying robot unless I get some, like, uh, fabulous micro on the defense. Okay, he's gonna be playing some uh, devils, which is the most annoying uh, play in the position, without a doubt. I'm gonna play a swordsman to just kite them all over here. I'm gonna kite uh, them even more here. He's playing a bomber uh, himself. I actually am gonna play just poison, so I think I can't, uh, got away with the crime because it could have been honestly way, uh, way worse. He's gonna play another flying robot then, so that was. Not the perfect start that I anticipated, but at the same time, it's not like the worst. So I'm gonna play a T-Rex here. He's gonna be playing probably helicopter, so I'm gonna try to protect it. There we go. I got some good splash here, but it's not gonna repeat itself. So yeah, I'm gonna just try to get it all over here. Maybe one more splash, maybe not. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, tank with my bomber a bit, and yeah, he's gonna go in again. I'm gonna play my uh, T-Rex right here. I'm gonna uh, get my tankage right here. He's gonna go for this helicopter no matter what here, because he pretty much guarantees uh, himself a value every single time he plays it. So I'm gonna actually play a second T-Rex, try to get as much value out of my T-Rex as possible. He's also like getting a very close uh, to getting my tower down, so I have to be very careful about this. Uh, I'm gonna play actually a swordsman right here. I'm gonna play a bomber here. And I would love the swordsman, uh, okay. So the tower actually helps, that's gonna be huge. Uh, I don't actually know how to defend that. He plays a lightning and I think that's gonna be a GG's. Unfortunately, I didn't like anticipated his helicopter, so maybe that was a mistake on my part, but as, at the same time he had a lightning against my stuff. So yeah, that was, like I said, very difficult matchup because I had only one air response and yeah, I usually play decks like this, like they don't score well against flying robots, so I just had to take the L here and yeah, I'm not gonna commentate too much about it. Let's jump to the game number five. Of today's video and uh, the last game of today's video will be against Rimon with 100 evil medals and uh, we're gonna just cycle skeleton hat against him there's no reason not to skeleton hat first play is one of the best 
place you can do with this deck. He's playing Digger in the spot where I cannot activate the Viking Tower with a Cyclone, so I'm gonna just suck it. Uh, first Digger can be sucked if you cannot uh, get away with it and like deal more damage than he does. It's gonna be very tough. He actually plays a Prison Charger, so I wouldn't be surprised if he played a, a Cyclone, but he doesn't. He actually doesn't, and I'm gonna get a very cool symmetry here. I'm gonna play a Cyclone myself. Uh, unfortunately, the tower is not locked onto the T-Rex, so I'm gonna lose a lot of DPS here. And my T-Rex actually won't do anything in this attack. Very unfortunate, but at the same time, like, very well done. I'm gonna drop a nice play here, because he played this defense very well. What else can I say? Uh, I'm gonna play Swordsman here, just to block a Piercing Archer. If he Nidals, he Nidals, Cyclones, whatever. Uh, I don't really care. I'm gonna play Symmetry here, because... Well, we have uh, definitely a troops to counter push with, and that's gonna be a tower. This bomb tower was way too far from our cemetery, and in this matchup you have to play uh, like a building, like a bomb tower, way closer to your tower, so it also can help out dealing with a cemetery, so you don't have to like spend spells to defend that. So, yeah, that was that was it. Basically, my opponent can already resign here, but I guess he's gonna keep on playing. I even, okay, I don't get a read. Fortunately, I don't get a read because I would rather get this bomber going. I'm gonna get a poison against his piercing archer. I could have gone in, but like, it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, this skeleton heart will uh, do a very good job at like protecting the lane. He gets a flying bomb, so that was a gimmick of his deck. Usually this deck uses cyclone and not like a flying bomb. Oh, and this deck even uses a Dark Knight. So very surprising plot twist at the end. Uh, I would love to yep, kind this Dark Knight in here. Uh, that's also like a very funny tip, that's how you counter a Dark Knight with just a Skeleton Hut. Obviously like the T-Rex helped, but uh, if the Dark Knight doesn't die, he's gonna go for a Viking Tower, so it's actually better for opponents to uh, get your Dark Knight uh, killed. Uh, opposed to uh, like it uh, living because it's not gonna go for a tower, it's gonna go for the Viking Tower, and it's absolutely not a thing that you want uh, to happen to your uh, opponent's Viking Tower and it's to be activated. I'm gonna actually try to go for this tower. Uh, I wasn't able to do so, unfortunately. I wanted to end this video with a uh, two towers here, but we didn't. It's still fine, 1-0 against Raimon, and that's gonna be it for today's video. If you have any questions how to play Splemetry, I really hope I've answered them in this video, and if I don't, let me in the comments down below. I'm gonna definitely record some more videos about this deck in the future, and about any other decks as well that you will uh, drop in the comments, and not. Some of them will be just meta decks, and I will uh, search myself, some will be like fun decks I want to play with, and... Uh, Obviously, I will look in the comments if you have some suggestions. So yeah, thanks for watching till the end, because if you hear that, obviously you've watched till the end or scared, that really doesn't matter. I'm still glad that you're uh, here enjoying my video. And if you enjoy, drop a subscribe, because I'm gonna drop more Boom Arena content uh, in a very near future, in particular every single day. So yeah, definitely you don't want to miss it out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.